Let's return to something now I touched on last night with John Anderson, and that's Labor's concerning drift when it comes to national security. In particular, the way the Albanese government has gone from trying to improve the relationship with China to now what appears to be out and out kowtowing to Beijing. The foreign editor of The Australian, Greg Sheridan, he wrote a fantastic article yesterday and he joins me now. Greg, your, your article, I thought, was just uh, extraordinary. Yes, you picked up those points about expelling the security chiefs from the NSC and uh, the review of ASPE, but you go way beyond this. What else has Labor done that benefits Beijing? Well, Peter, great to be with you. And um, uh, that's right. I think the expulsion of the intelligence chiefs from the NSC... And they've been there forever, for years and years and years and years and years. So this is what Paul Keating demanded, what Beijing wanted, and the Albanese government has delivered it. A, a grotesque thing. They won't defend the security chiefs and then they expel them from the NSC. Uh, so they'll only be there when, when called upon. And then they're going to... They've already hobbled and may well destroy the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, which was one of Beijing's uh, 14 demands of the Australian government. But as well, they've stopped mentioning uh, China as a justification for AUKUS. So China did appear in the AUKMIN, um, you know, uh, statement. But the British Foreign and Defence Secretaries are happy to say, yes, one of the reasons you, we need AUKUS is because we've got to respond to China's massive military build-up. Whereas the government won't say... Uh, the word China and the word AUKUS in the same sentence. They've they've gone from speaking frankly about China when they first got in, when they inherited the national security uh, template of the previous government, to now not speaking about it at all. And the other thing they've done, which China would be very happy with, is they're not doing anything on defence. They've got all these AUKUS plans for 10 years hence and 20 years hence and so on, but in the three years they will have been in government... They've made no um, mm. increase in defence expenditure and they haven't increased a single military capability, instead of which they've cut the size of the surface fleet. They've retired one of the ANZACs. They're going to retire a second one. We don't, we don't actually increase the size of the surface fleet until uh, 2034. At the earliest, they've abolished the last squadron of the Joint Strike Fighters. They're not going to upgrade the Collins with Tomahawks. Uh, in, in every way, they've reduced our military capability. And I think what you've got is a government, for the first time, a Labor government dominated by the factional left. You know, they're good people. They're good, honest, yes. patriotic Australians. But they have no interest in national security. And Richard Miles, the notional hawk, just has no influence in the government.